guys, it's your girl Viva Luque, and I'm going to be showing you all how to bleach your knots for your lace closure so it'll blend evenly with your skin tone and have it looking like it grew straight out of your scalp. I'll list the links below to where you can find these products for reasonable prices. you can see what the lace looks like before I start processing and bleaching it. This is the mixing step where you're going to fill three-fourths of the scooper with the Clairol bleaching powder and you're only going to use two capsules of the peroxide developer of your choice and mix it together because a little goes a long way. that the peroxide developer and the bleaching powder is mixed you want to make sure that it's not too thick and it's not too watery because once it's watery it'll start running through your lace and then it'll start bleaching your hair instead of just the knots. Now it's time to gently put your mixture onto your lace. You want to be gentle because you don't want your bleach to seep through your lace and to go beyond your knots. You don't want bleach roots, you only want bleach knots. I did manage to get a little bleach on the hair. However, I did go back with my spray bottle of water and just spray over it so that the hair would not bleach. process you want to rinse all of the bleach out of your hair you want to make sure you wash your hair in cold water cold water helps your hair last much longer then after you get all the bleach out of your hair you want to go over your lace and your hair with the shimmer lights shampoo the shimmer lights shampoo keeps the hair from being brittle dry it makes sure all of the bleach is gone I'll stop on the beat. washing your lace closure or your lace frontal whichever one you use always remember to allow it to air dry it lasts much longer before I start plucking the lace closure I like to part it down the middle just so I know where my parting space is and then I start plucking right after
drop on the beat.